Hello everyone, my name is Reiner and welcome back to another episode of Luxury Utopia in Oxygen Not Included. In the last episode we mainly focused around this petroleum setup, so we have this ore refinery creating petroleum which we store down here in these liquid reservoirs. And if we want, if we enable it, we're also gonna make some plastic here from that. Um, but we are not that big on energy just yet. Uh, that will come soon. Um, so we are not making that here yet. We have quite a bit of plastic anyway. So we don't need this. This is just um, for when we do need it. Um, in this episode, we are going to use this petroleum that I uh, am creating right now. We have 4,000 kilograms here. Um, in order to launch some bigger rockets and in the last episode we already started building a rocket like that with two trailblazer modules and these trailblazer modules are essential in colonizing a new planetoid well there are other ways I guess but this is a very very um, easy way I would say to colonize the planetoid because if you deconstruct these trailblazers when you drop them onto a planetoid you have enough um, refined metals to build one rocket platform and that's exactly what we want so that's what we're gonna do this episode we're gonna make a new rocket um, where we're a bit busy already with um, and that's gonna be the main topic so let's start with the basics and first of all we need to um, make sure that we get petroleum over there and we have petroleum here what I'm going to do is install a liquid meter valve again uh, we're going to make that here, and then I'm going to make insulated pipes out of igneous rock is okay. Um, and I'm not going to connect it just yet, but I'm going to make it like this, and then in there. Um, what I'm also immediately going to do is uh, replace these pipes here, because water keeps freezing in there, and I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is replace all of these, and all of this, uh, also the new ones, for insulated pipes up here I don't care because that is all uh, vacuum so no gas has come up there I can already make those pipes as well and I do want to do this all as a higher priority so we focus on that so that is going to be the petroleum uh, for the rest I need to wait until uh, my spacefarer module is done and then we can start designing a spacefarer module the first one for two duplicates instead of one uh, and that requires a little bit more space but before i skip to when the module is done i want to start using probably a bit of this hydrogen because as i said we are running a little bit low on power here uh, it is already night but these batteries are not really keeping up so these coal generators have to jump in all the time um, so what i'm going to do is add two hydrogen generators here they don't use a lot of hydrogen. I'm going to make them out of... I mean, I can just make them out of gold amalgam. Just in case they overheat. So they're going to go there. And then I also need a smart battery to uh, make sure that it's not used too much. Um, let's make it out of copper. I'm going to make that here. And also this all as a 6, of course. And then I need some heavy watt wire to come over as a six and I'm just gonna do it like this there so that is the power line it's all connected so now we need to get the hydrogen over um, let me see am I just gonna do normal pipes I think that's fine we need one bridge there and then we're just gonna go straight up and into these two let me see how much do they use each I don't think it's that much 100 grams per second and this pipe is one kilogram per second so that's fine uh, let's also make the gas bridge as all as a six nice and like that and that should already do it uh, power is already connected it's just never running uh, because we have um, 2000 kilograms per tile and this is uh, six plus one seven tiles so that's about 14,000 um, 14 tons of hydrogen that we have here which is really a lot um, and we should start using that 
Okay, now I'm gonna skip to when we have some more room to work. All right, they're still working on this stuff, but we have the spacefarer module. So what we can start doing is designing the interior. I have to zoom in a bit. Um, what I'm gonna start with is the same as with every rocket. Uh, we're gonna start with some wallpaper. Uh, that's some furniture, I think. And of course, as always, that's gonna be uh, our thing, I guess. We're gonna make it out of gold. So let's throw in gold wallpaper everywhere. All right, and uh, then for um, oxygen, I'm going to use oxalide again, which we also used in a second robot, but I'm gonna place it in such a way that we don't have to filter out. Well, I don't think we did that in the second robot either. So we're gonna set that somewhere at the bottom uh, to make sure that um, carbon dioxide and other gases are deleted automatically. Um, this rocket is going to be prepped for a short mission so this is going to be very very short um, but i still want to make this tidy um, and i will i will leave a couple of spaces open uh, let's make some golden beds uh, that's nice and of course we're going to use the um, uh, ladder beds because they're super efficient and if i do this correctly then we don't need to have a lot of other ladders uh, so this is going to be super efficient uh, we want to have a couple of rooms in here for two duplicates so we're going to start with the bedroom uh, or barracks i guess it's 12 tiles this is already eight uh, i want to actually try and put the storage bin also in the bedroom so we're going to put that there and then we need to start closing this off um, so we're going to do this uh, we need to have a door there every tile of copper is fine now we have six, ten. We need two more tiles, and I think I'm just gonna make these two tiles. So we're gonna do it like this, and then we make a door here in the corner. This is very efficient. Um, then we also need to have a what is it called? A latrine. A latrine. Yes, a latrine. And um, this is also twelve tiles, and we're gonna make this in the top here. Um, the door is going to be, this is 3 by 4 yeah, door is going to be there, airflow tiles and airflow tiles, that should be it. And then uh, once this is built, we can put in a plumbed toilet there. Um, and that should already be that. And then we have a big room here left over and that's going to be our great hall, if we can make it. Uh, in order to do that, we need to make a couple of extra tiles, and I think I'm going to need to make these three. This way they can also jump up here, and we don't need any extra ladders, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think so. Uh, and then for the great hall, oh wait, the, yeah, I'm going to wait with uh, the stuff for the bathroom, because I don't think I can put in the um, wall toilet yet, because there needs to be a floor. Very interesting, um, but that's gonna go here. And um, for the great hall, I will see what I put where. Uh, I mean, I could maybe even put a telescope in here for now, because this space is reserved for. Um, uh, I'm gonna do this. How much does this use? 120 watts. Hmm. I think I'm gonna leave it there. So that we have some. There's gonna be some space here that I leave empty because in the second version of this robot, that's gonna be for a longer duration on Doxazon. Uh, we will have uh, atmosphere docks here, um, so they will uh, use their suit docks here and they the docks get uh, filled again by an oxygen tank um, but in the first version as i said we're going to use just the atmos suits that we have we're going to quickly make some basic stuff and then we're going to leave again anyway i'm just going to leave them to uh, build this for a while and then i'll be back
All right, we made a little bit of progress here. So what I can start doing is adding in some consumable ores, oxalide in here as a nine. Uh, 20,000 is maybe a bit much. Uh, let's say 1,000 kilogram if we have it, we're gonna put in there. Also the tile here is made, so that means we can start with our toilet. So let's add that in as well. And then we're gonna have some water pipes going through this rocket um, so let me see we're gonna make that like this um, I need to see that I can I can reach this okay because there can be some spots that I might find hard to reach it doesn't really matter what route I go through but I'm gonna save up a lot of water here all right like that um, and uh, I'm gonna wash wait with the hand sanitizer because it's going to off gas bleach stone and I don't want that to happen if I can prevent it uh, as for the rest here I guess we can add a water cooler already I'm gonna make that here which is needed for the um, great hole and the mess table we're gonna make two one there and one there and then we need to also have a boot, a refrigerator, and I'm going to put that there. Okay, doesn't have to be connected to power again, because we're just going to put unspoilables in there. Uh, but yeah, that should already make this a very nice room. Let me see, do we want to add some decorations I guess we can uh, can make a landscape canvas I guess like this sure and then if I can reach it make some molding uh, what do I, what am I making this out igneous rock no 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 furniture out of a granite and then this one also out of granite that is okay and this water cooler is igneous rock can I make that out of something nicer furniture water cooler can also make it out of granite okay there we go my stables out of copper that's fine okay starting to look like a mess hole here now we have all this room free for future stuff um maybe i'll add in another storage bin for now to uh to store some other stuff okay let's let them build this again and then i'll be back all right the oxalite has been brought in i'm gonna set this a little bit lower otherwise they keep refilling it it is of course gonna off gas uh, very fast actually so we have plenty of oxygen in here uh, so that's really nice um, yeah that's gonna be perfect so what I can do now in medicine is make a hand sanitizer bleach stone a couple ores okay yeah, it's the same as same decor can make that here it could still be that it off gas a little bit but even the bleach stone, once it drops down, because it's heavier than oxygen, it will be deleted by this oxalite. So, no problems there. Alright, we have our extra hydrogen generators in place. It says that this one doesn't have enough hydrogen. I don't completely believe that. But that means we can use some more power draining uh, things, because we have more power available. Uh, so we can make a little bit more petroleum because these um, reservoirs are not full and normally it should only stop when these are completely full or completely uh, full uh, I didn't set this yet uh, send the red signal when the reservoir is 80% full 85 and then we should start making new I guess one five or something and I make this 95 it's okay can have a little bit in the pipe I guess but yeah now we have a lot more draining of power but we should also produce a lot more power so when these hydrogen generators kick in 
we're actually still going down. Interesting. Okay, it was night time, so that doesn't help. And maybe we were, were making more glass? Could be. All right, so I think everything is now made here, so we can set this liquid metal valve. We, uh, we are going to get petroleum from here, from our what is normally a water pipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm connecting this pipe here without this here. And this small petroleum engine uh, can hold 450 kilograms of petroleum. So I'm going to set this to 450, reset amount. And then we need to connect this as well. There we go. And now we should get 450 kilograms of petroleum nicely into our rocket engine. All right, that was it already. So uh, all our petroleum went through. So this is at 450, perfect. Once it's all in, we can double check whether uh, we indeed have everything. Okay, it says remaining tiles is zero uh, because we don't have any oxidizer power remaining, says so zero kilograms. So we need to have an oxidizer as well. I think I'm gonna make that above this one. So we do plus, and then we need the small oxidizer tank. Make that as an eight. Add it there. Should be okay for now. And then we can disconnect this pipe. And then in the end, we can also add some water here once we uh, have all the piping done. But we're still working on this. So we have an extra storage bin here and I'm going to add in some glass and I'm going to add 600 kilograms of glass, I guess. It's going to be enough for three solar panels. Of course, everything is still grounded. Uh, let's disable this water cooler. Don't need water in there. And let's see our rooms. Uh, we actually have a mess hall here already. Uh, we need to make this into a great hall, uh, which I think still means that we need some more decoration uh, what i'm gonna do furniture wall pots i'm gonna add a wall pot here and then i'm going to add a flower and that should tip the scale so we have a barracks here we have a mess hall plus three plus one this should also be plus one because i don't think the painting is gonna be sufficient um here i want to add muck roots Nutrient bars, swamp chart hearts, uh, that kind of stuff. And here we add a briar seed. Uh, let's make it as a seven. And that should do it. Uh, so mess hole should become a great hole. Um, in the meantime, we have, of course, hope in, uh, in the sky. Nails has been working and Nails has made a couple of data banks. Uh, we have um, 746 of them. So maybe it's a good idea to go back. We also still have some muck root here. Yeah, I guess that's gonna be okay for now. So nails, um, add more seeds. Come on, nails, take it. And then we're gonna fly back to here. All right. Just gonna make one more data bank, I guess. And then we're on the planet again. Okay, move debris into storage. Uh, these data banks all can go into storage as well. So we have quite a bit to work with. Uh, I'm gonna drop this muck root on the floor. So people bring it to the new rockets. Uh, this one is not gonna be used for a while because this is just a science rocket. And we have, well, we, ha we have quite a, bit, uh, quite a few data banks. We probably need more than that. But we have quite a lot. That's going to be it for this rocket. So now we have three rockets here. Landed. Um, yeah, we're going to work on this one. That's the main one. By the way, it says here, uh, small petroleum engine, no power consumers. This petroleum engine actually generates power once it's in flight. Thrust generation. Um, it will generate 240 watts of power once traveling through space. Uh, but if it's standing still, of course, it does nothing. Do we need power? At the moment, we um, do not really need power. So 
yeah we're gonna just leave it like that i don't think yeah i have nothing that really needs power toilet is going in we have our pipes ready as well so let's send over some water which again we can do via the same pipe so we have disconnected but yeah if we send water through it should go okay so we make this 500 reset uh, and uh, see 500 kilograms of water going through it shouldn't freeze now so that's good circuit overloaded wait a minute which circuit is overloaded this one ah that's why we have a normal cable here that needs to change um, and quickly whoops uh, yeah that's hard to see but yeah that's gonna overload very very hard on this uh, line all right that's fixed um, let's check out the interior again so we have most of our things in here now our bluff prior is a little bit on the cold side i guess but if we look at the room overlay this is now a great hall with plus six morale so that's perfect uh, and yet we still have this room here for additional stuff which we don't need yet uh, what we also can do of course is open these doors they're only there to separate rooms we don't need to have closed doors in this rocket yeah, and this always off gas is a little bit of chlorine, but if you look here where it goes, it goes always to the bottom. And if it goes here to this uh, oxalide bin, the chlorine will be deleted. Come on. One more. There it is. And it's gone. All right. Once we have our food in here, I think we're ready to go. Oh, wait. I think we need to add a fertilizer right uh, we're gonna add some regular fertilizer because this is uh, this is the best ratio with fuel uh, i think oxalide is half as good as fertilizer but if we add fertilizer we can go 10 tiles and that should be more than enough to go to toxism and back i think we only need five or something like that all right this is looking pretty good and this is also not built yet uh, we need these trailblazers done before we go this is ready it looks also not ready but that seems to just look like that all right we did send over some water let us see how that looks uh, we have a bit of room left um let's say 300 more uh, again this is going to be short trip but i just want to fill this up with water so let's say 300 limits reset and there goes the water uh, let me double check that the pipes are okay it should be they are yeah this bluff prior is a little bit on the cold side which makes this room i think not a great hole anymore what i possibly can do to uh, circumvent that is add a metal block out of gold i would just make a, a something really nice with a high decor in this room and then we should also have a great hole which is not dependent on the temperature of the room so now we have a washroom as well washroom um, a great hole and a barracks perfect and we have some space left over actually i really like this setup there we go great hole yes oh we also are getting very limited on the um, glossy drag bits in here this one is 52 this one's 54 this one's also pretty old so we need some young ones uh h5 let's do it i have h27 okay you guys are the chosen ones who get to eat so uh, be happy yeah i would say that's three one more uh six that's okay four and that should be it okay this is something that i manually i just have to check always which is a little bit of a pain but yeah it's it's just an amazing farm anyway 
Alright, our trailblazers have been built, that's perfect, and I think everything here is also in an order. We have some food, which should be sufficient. We have water for the toilet. Could have added a little bit more, but it's okay. Um, we have all our rooms ready. I think it's ready to go. We have almost a thousand kilograms of oxalite, which is more than enough to, uh, to do the trip. So uh, let's send over some duplicates and we're going to send over two, as I said. Uh, we're going to send over auto and nails our pilot. Um, and we're going to set this to crew. And then we also have to set a destination, which is going to be uh, near Toxazon, right there. They're both inside, so we can start the launch sequence. There we go. Nails is still coming. There she is. So for some reason, Liam goes in there. There's our petroleum rocket flying off for the first time. All right. Um, let's go in here and make sure that this is uh, not grounded anymore and that they lose the suits. How good are the suits anyway? 33%. An equip suit and this one is 30%. They're not the best suits, but I guess it's okay. Uh, it's just a short, 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 short flight. All right, our rocket is in orbit of Toxazon, so now we get the tricky stuff. So let me really quickly uh, save uh, to make sure that I don't mess up. All right. Now it's time to go to uh, the star map, then we select our rockets. Um, first, actually, we have to go in here. Uh, we have to tell our duplicates to put on the suits again. Otto is sleeping. Uh, that's fine. Otto can have this one. Okay. Where are the suits? No time for sleeping. I guess Otto is continuing sleeping. How tired is he? Okay, we have to just wait a little bit. Oh, now Nails is going to sleep. What the... Okay. I don't think they want to... Uh, go bad. Okay, they're both awake. Now we can go. Uh, they have eaten... Morale 6 out of 7. Okay, they're, they're not super happy, but... It's okay. Now, they, have, they are wearing their suits. Star map go to the rocket and now we say we want to deploy let's uh, send nails over first in a trailblazer module it's just like the robots actually and the rovers let's put one there and let's go to toxazon actually i want to immediately deconstruct those as well if we can And we want to send over auto as well. So auto star map. Whoop. Auto deploy. And we're going to send them exactly in the same spot. Because for some reason that works. Um, yeah. So now we need a little bit of micromanagement here. Yeah, it's just landing on it. It's, it is red. So I don't think it works. Uh, it should work. Okay, I need to do deconstruct, I guess. And this one also deconstructs. We need the material. So move to there. And start deconstructing. Uh, this one deconstruct as a 9. Because this is going to give us our resources. They have uh, their spacesuits on. So that is okay. Um, but we need to make the rocket platform. We can make that out of copper here. So let's make that there. Yeah, as you can see, we uh, didn't make this platform big enough, but it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, that has been deconstructed. And now we can actually look at... Uh, this needs to be done very soon. And then we can do some other layers here. Let's make a little bit of a layer like this. And then... A 
think one, two, three, four. This is gonna be here's where the uh, power, the heavy one joint plate will go. Let's make it out of aluminum or should I? Or maybe gold amalgam. Let's make it out of gold amalgam. It's probably better there because on top of here is where our solar panels will be. Um, but yeah, we cannot build that just yet. Nails is gonna work a little bit in there, that's fine. But once this is made, this rocket platform now colony achievement earned. I don't know what that is, but okay, we can land our rocket here. So it has an autopilot, even though there's nobody in there anymore, it's uh, desolate. Uh, let's go back here. We can say land here, please. And there our rocket comes. And then we need to make some ladders as well because we cannot actually reach uh, our space module. So we're going to make some ladders like so. I'm also going to make some ladders here. At least I don't know exactly yet where. But now we should... We don't have solar panel. We don't have glass yet. We need to make this first. Come on. Um, Nails, what the heck are you doing? Are you sleeping again? Okay, we have glass now. There we go. So we need um, one, two, three for a transit tube access point, um, which is going to be there at some point. Three, then one for a tube, and then we can make our solar panels here from that moment on. So we need to make a ladder a little bit more to the side. Actually, we don't need to make these tiles yet. Uh, so let's wait with that. And then we're just going to make some igneous rock ladders right there. Because I think they can walk on there, right? We'll see. Heavy wood wire out of gold amalgam. Fine. Let's do it a bit like this for now. Just to prep. I can leave this out as well. And once this is in, we have a little bit of power here. So when we come again, we have something to work with. But yeah, we have to look out because they don't... How is there... Yeah, we have to really be careful because they don't uh, add oxygen to their spacesuits. So we're back hungry. What I've, I think I'm going to do is just set this to crew again. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not going to do that. I want them to uh, do at least a little bit of this building. Glass, okay. Okay, they are building those. Perfect. Just a little bit. There's our first um, solar panel. Ah, build a launch pad on a world without a teleporter. There we go. Nice. Last glass coming up. And then I hope they can walk on here. They can. Okay, perfect. Once these are in, I'm going to set this to crew again. Because I don't want you guys to suffocate. Okay, here we go. Crew. Uh, crew. And then we set this back to have an Ilios. And once they both uh, feel like they want to come back. Is this not the crew anymore? Wait, change crew. Ah, because they dropped out. I guess they're not crew anymore. Anyway, here they come. <laughs> ready to launch. Acknowledge warnings. Uh, landings ready. What is this? Unreachable module. I think it's fine. Knowledge warnings and begin the launch process. And here we go back to have an Ilios. For some reason that's not connected. It is. Oh, okay, whatever. So we have some power here um, for later on. But yeah, this is basically what I wanted to achieve in this episode. So that was it for the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done that yet and see you in the next video.